What's up guys, this is iPods Real Dudes, coming at you with another Balloons Tower Defense video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you one of what I think is the best strategy in Balloons Tower Defense, Battles. Um, this game I, um, I resetted my stats recently, but I, um, I played a lot and I got, and I played a lot of different strategies because I had a pretty decent record, so I played against a lot of good people, and, um, my favorites of uh, some of the strategies um, consist of using uh, uh, the blue blimps, the red blimps, um, even the green blimps as soon as you can. But this is what I think the best strategy is. You basically have to survive until round 13 and you will pretty much win the game every time. So without further ado, let's dive in. So I'm going to play against some random opponent. I'm sorry if this gets a little bit laggy at times. It's just a... Uh, hopefully my screen recorder can keep up with this. If not, at least you'll get the idea. So, um, the towers you want to choose would be, um, basically the two towers that you need, um, either the wizard or the, or the purple tack circle. Um, I I personally go with the wizard. You need the. Oops. You need the um banana towers, and personally, I w I go for the. I go for the glue gunner, and I mean you don't really need uh bonuses or whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so here we go. So first, what you're going to want to do is place a is place a tower in in optimal spot, and don't even bother with the fireball with the right side. Just um, you you basically want to get the lightning bolt as soon as you possibly can. So uh, I'm on the right side, obviously here. I probably should have put mine in a better spot, but that's okay. So I need to wait until I have enough money for the lightning bolt. Now the only weakness to this strategy is very early attacks. And for the most part, um, as long as you keep with this guidelines, you won't have much to worry about. Because especially if you use this monkey over like the attack monkey, they um the people who you're playing against will have will it's kinda like a like a false, you know, opening. It kinda reminds me of uh what's that called? Kind of reminds me of StarCraft. So here we are, coming up upon a thousand. Now, once we get to a thousand, we're gonna have to put one of these guys in. And as soon as you have enough money, upgrade to more bananas. You wanna do that? So usually that happens right before round five. That's when you start getting your first bananas. Now, depending on what what he uses against you, you're just gonna sit here and get until you get enough money to do banana plantation. But if he starts um attacking you, you're gonna wanna build another monkey another um, magician monkey but I think he's not gonna use any attacks against us so we should be good for now almost enough for the banana plantation okay we got the banana plantation now we're gonna save up for another magician so he doesn't get start getting suspicious alright here's our second magician now you're going to do the same thing. On the left side you're going to want to upgrade um, to get the lightning bolt. So you're going to want two monkeys with lightning bolts and um, that as far as the fire upgrade they won't know you don't have it so they most likely won't use lead balloons but if they do I mean it's only 300 bucks. So here we are and this is our final upgrade so basically round eight is where you should be. Now you're not going to spend any more money unless you need to spend money on um, camel which I usually do just on one of the monkeys just so he doesn't start spamming you with camel balloons which kind of gets annoying so you are just keep collecting bananas especially rounds like this you get a ton of money so now we're at 2000 I see he's wasted a lot of his money in that the fire upgrade which I, I think is pretty good unless you have the strategy where you're going to use so Around 2,700 is where you want to be. So now what I'm going to do is, since the camel's coming soon, I'm just going to upgrade one of these guys with monkey sense and fireball so I can destroy lead and camel. So now he's using another one. So it looks like he's going to spend most of his money on upgrading his towers, which is what most people do. So now I'm going to go over here to your balloons. Oops. Regen. And hit the 675. The heart, the heart uh, reggae balloons. Now look at this. I have never seen anyone stop this, to be honest. And just keep spamming it. Do not stop. 
Look at this. And that is what I think the best strategy in this game is. I have never seen anyone beat this attack. The only way they can beat it is if A, they have the same strategy as you, or if B, they beat you before this. Usually where they lose is somewhere, somewhere in the 20s, unless they're really bad, obviously. But um, this strategy, using the the heart regays, um, it's around, around 13 is earliest you unlock them. Sorry, I went through that a little fast, just because um, I was kind of talking a little bit, and round 13 crept up on me there. But um, especially if if you spy on the other person, or if you just um, or if by looking at what they're doing, if you can assume they're kind of doing the same thing, that's where the glue gunner comes in handy. Because you, 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 even though it costs a little bit of money, usually by the time even if you if you stop buying stuff at around eight, and then you get the glue gunner. Or, and then you don't do anything, you, have, you end up with around 3,500 like what I had, which you'll really only need four reggae's, that's usually enough. So you can buy a glue gun and upgrade it to at least slow down his balloons. And if you need to, um, use the balloon speed up. Um, as you can see right here on the bottom right hand corner, um, you can use that right before you start using the reggae's, because then your balloons will move faster if he has the same strategy as you. So those are two different ways that I use to, to battle someone with the same strategy. Um, but obviously if they start spamming you earlier on, you might have to get um, the, the second monkey a little bit earlier than you thought, but um, you'll still probably beat him because he's putting most of his resources into spamming you, and then probably I would assume a little bit into his own towers. So this is what I think the best strategy is. Um, I mean, I've seen a lot of good ones when I've been playing, but um, I have had very, I've had a ton of luck with the strategy. Very high winning percentage. I mean, I've probably won like 20 out of the last... 22 games with the strategy. I mean, the only guys that have beaten me are people with the same strategy as me, and I've learned a few things to combat that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it helps. If you have any comments, you know, I'd love to hear them. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment.